So hi, this is Alan Bean, and this time I would like to sh to show you why I don't use private visibility for injected fields anymore. For this purpose, I would like to create a Java 6 project called Why Not Private for injection. And I would like to use the add inject dependency injection as well. And then deploy, a G create a JSF page called index. And this page, I would just like to verify the functionality by running the application. So looks good. Then create a class called index. It's going to be the backing bean, a bean, why not private? And this guy is going to be a model with a single method called get message or get greetings. Hey, from backing bin. And I'm going to test that with. So, hey, from backing bin seems to work. So now let's create a boundary. Um, the boundary is going to be an EJB. So it's EJB31. So just stateless public string get message. I would like just to return, let's say the date, something dynamic and inject the EJB31 into the backing bin. So I will do it right now. As, as you see, I just uh, don't use the private here. It's just package wide visibility. So I call that. So I inject it with at inject. Hello from backing bean with the message. So looks good as well. So then I will like create an additional class called control, and the control returns a number. Let's say along get number and would like to inject the control here as well. Not to string, but I would like to use the. So, as you can see, it works as expected. Now, what I can do, I can easily create a unit test. Um, yes, and inside the unit test, I can just wire up. The, the control the boundary with the control in the inject method which is going to be before and I am using a boundary class on the test and I can do something like this cat equals new boundary and now the interesting part is this guy here so I can just directly inject the instance into the field because it's uh, private visibility. As you can see, it's it's private. So if it if it were private, I would get an error here. So it's actually more convenient. I could use getters and setters, and I could use constructors. But why um, the um, this uh, this way of working is more convenient. Now I hear uh, lots of uh, criticism about that, that the, actually the, um, the encapsulation is broken. So let's try to break the encapsulation. So what we can do, we could do something like public string 
hack it. And just let's try to get the reference to the control actually. Here is it. So we have it here. Try to hack. As you can see, the container recognizes that and throws an exception. So try to access field boundary control from index. So it recognizes that we attempted to access uh, the injected field. So it's this illegal access error, uh, which is actually nice. So as you can see, the uh, encapsulation is not broken at all. So actually nothing can happen. But interesting, if we made this guy private, and expose this field with getters and setters, then the encapsulation would be truly broken because now the public uh, get and set methods belong to the no interface view of the boundary. So now we could access we could access the field directly, and you and you would see the reference. So as you can see now, I, I can am able to access the control, uh, the the uh, the instance of the control. So why why um, I'm not using private anymore? Because I pr prefer uh, package wide visibility and and actually don't like uh, getters and setters, superfluous getters and setters. And these guys are superfluous. So lots of problem because you can see, just for one field I need two methods and uh, just for reasons which are hard to get. So usually I don't use getters and setters. I just make all injected fields package-wide visibility and I'm able to access them directly from unit tests. So thank you for watching and see you on conferences, projects on one of my upcoming workshops. So thanks.